Don't make love to me. Too many people have done that. I've never made love to you. But you are the woman I would have married if it had been possible for either of us. You can say that when you're the one who's made it impossible. I've made it. Isn't it you who made me give up divorcing? Didn't you talk to me here in this house no. about sacrifice and sparing scandal? And for May's sake and for yours, I did what you asked there me. There were things in your husband's letter. I had nothing to fear from that letter. Absolutely nothing. I was just afraid of scandal for the family and you and May. Nothing's... Nothing's done that can't be undone. I'm still free. You can be too. Please. I marry May now. Do you see me marrying May now? I don't see you putting that question to May, do you? Oh, I have to. It's too late to do anything else. You say that because it's the easiest thing to say at this moment, not because it's true. I don't understand you. You don't understand because you don't yet realize how you've changed things for me. You don't know all that you've done. All I've done? All the good things you've done for me, Newland, that I never knew. Going to the Vanderleidens because people refused to meet me. Announcing your engagement at the ball so there would be two families standing behind me instead of one. I never understood how dreadful people thought I was. Granny blurted it out one day. I was stupid. I, I never thought New York meant freedom to me. Everyone seemed so kind and glad to see me. But they never knew what it meant to be tempted, but you did, you understood. I'd never known that before. And it's better than anything I've known. You said you couldn't be happy if it meant being cruel. If we act any other way, I'll be making you act against what I love in you most. And I can't go back to that way of thinking. Don't you see, I can't love you unless I give you up. <laughs> 